is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is Chris Abraham, Season 5, Episode 33. 33 is the magic number. 33 is the magic number in the morning. This is the Chris Abraham Show. And I am completely uh, lost my wig because, uh, believe it or not, I was watching Jimmy Dore show on YouTube... And he had a clip from Amy Goodman from Democracy Now, who was actually saying, for example, uh, the U.S. media is whitewashing the neo-Nazi influence in Ukraine, which up till now has been completely whitewashed. And she also shared the fact that the uh, CIA has undue and out-of-proportion influence on the Ukraine missions and the Ukraine war. And that rhymes so beautifully with the exact playbook from Vietnam and the entire world of... of uh, spooky McSpook faces who got up in there and uh, puppeteered the entire war in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. Or as the Thais say, Lao, Lao. And I, I am amazed by that because even Amy Goodman has been warmongery Warface, and uh, everybody's put their scruples and their liberalism and their anti-war and their hippiness on a hold because, for whatever reason, everybody's completely frothing at the mouth and absolutely, uh, I mean, the entire country has roid rage about what is happening in Ukraine. And, you know, I'm the guy who's always said, Ukraine is not the innocent in this. America is not the innocent in this. Russia is not the monster in this. Putin is not the enemy in this. He is the opponent, but he's not the enemy. And you can blame a victim if your victim has been lying to you for 30 years, making promises and slowly fomenting color revolutions on the countries around you, slowly rolling to your front door, and because of the fomenting of revolutions and the placement of puppet democracy governments, slowly over time when all these uh, satellite countries from the former Soviet Union were on their knees and suffering from great levels of, of uh, poverty and hunger. Thank you, Ronald Reagan. That uh, they were easy to take advantage of, and they did opt in, but how much duress and how much CIA influence and how much uh, oligarchic and elite influence and how much influence from the EU and from NATO. And so when you go ahead and you say, me, I'm not imperialistically rolling up to the border with Russia. And no, no, Russia's bad and China's bad, even though we completely have a noose of uh, bases and nukes around Russia's neck. I mean, the noose has been tightening around Russia's neck with American imperialism and very literally our nukes and missiles. 
that something was going to give and we're really, we all should be extremely grateful that this is the worst of it so far. Uh, but yeah, so that's my thing. Uh, looks like it's turned a corner. Um, it's so great that Tucker Carlson has taken out every single opponent to Trump in the most recent kind of blaze, like Liberty leadership conference by, you know, making every single, every single, uh, um, presidential hopeful for the Republican side, make them look like a completely uh, Cold War Russian uh, anti anti Soviet like warhorse, old old CCCP Soviet Union warhorse. Uh, they all sound like frickin' I don't know. 1950s and 60s anti-communist Russia uh, defiant we must we must remove the fangs of Russia because Russia has actually shown no sign zero sign of imperialism the other way right zero sign the only reason Russia ever uh, went ahead and you know invaded so to speak Crimea and now Eastern Ukraine and possibly all of Ukraine is because is because let's say you hear the rattle of a rattler and you hear the rattle of a rattler and you're like, we must defang the rattlesnake. We must defang the rattlesnake and the rattles rattling for 30 years and it's rattling, it's rattling, it's rattling. And then you go to defang the rattlesnake and you get the shit bit out of you and you get injected with rattlesnake venom and you're like, what happened? That rattlesnake, I'm the victim, that rattlesnake attacked me. And actually rattlesnakes are terrible at being covert. Rattlesnakes go rattle, 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 which is a signifier through the way they look and the fact that they're right in front of you, and the fact that they're rattling, and the fact that they have fangs, and apparently, according to movies, they hiss. And then if you get bit by one, because you were stupid enough to think that you had the ability to, <laughs> to capture the rattlesnake and defang it, and then you get the shit bit out of you, and 300,000 Ukrainians die, uh, maybe 600,000 Ukrainians die, then who's the stupid one? Is the, is the rattlesnake bad? Even if the rattlesnake is giving you like 30 years of rattling? Or are you bad for saying rattlesnakes should not exist? And rattlesnakes are a threat to my shins? And rattlesnakes are by their very nature rattly, snaky, and poisonous? And rattlesnakes are never to be just left alone to be rattly and snaky and venomy on their very own. So uh, it's a turning point, like to see uh, Tucker Carlson in one, on one day completely destroy the entire Republican base by calling them warmongers, by calling them bullshit artists, by calling them, um, what is it called? Uh, military industrial military industrialists and and warmongers and 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 adventurists and and imperialists and uh also um unable to look at their own you know what is it called america uh is not what is the term i, I wrote an amazing article it's my only amazing article so i'm not being that arrogant but the quote is like, America does not go in search of monsters to destroy is not our tagline or our motto or anything to do with America anymore. America totally goes uh, globally on missions to destroy monsters. We are self-appointed, um, what is it called, uh, St. George? 
where, where, where self-appointed Globe's St. George and everything that is not exactly um, compliant and basically any place that is not an American colony. And you can tell, I'm sorry guys, if you have an American base in your country, you are not an independent country. If you accept money, if you are in NATO, if you are uh, part of probably even the United Nations, if you have an American base, if you've got a black site, if you have anything more than just an embassy on your, if you have a freaking Air Force base, if, if literally America can take off and land in your country without asking your permission, then you are, in fact, an American colony. We say it's democracy. We say that you have sovereignty. You say that you as a country have agency. But you want to see how well that works out for countries like Poland and Hungary and Russia and Syria and Iraq and Afghanistan uh, and Iran. And, uh, and I would say Israel, and I would say Saudi, but that's patently untrue. They have uh, enough leverage and enough power and enough influence. But look how that's worked for Nicaragua. Look how that's worked for... Look how that's worked for Mexico. Look how that certainly works for Cuba. And uh, poor little Haiti, poor little Haiti... And uh, at the end of the day, if you have American servicemen or anybody from the State Department or Spooky McSpookface or f any eyes of the five eyes, you are uh, an American colony. And by American colony, based on what my Starbucks friend says, you are a colony of the city of London. Because according to him, America is just the big guy behind the little guy who is the city of London, who in fact uh, makes all the decisions and writes all the checks. So, so uh, you know, kind of like a Mark Harrison, Chris Abraham kind of thing. Uh, little Mark had all the... You know, anyway, here we go. You want to hear a big truck? A littler truck. Those are dump, dumpy McDumpface trucks. And uh, I'm heading... Ah, oh man, screw it. I'm heading to Idido's now. Uh, to get un café and un bouteille d'eau. And uh, then I will go to the... Uh, I go to the library and work until huit heures or vente uh, hora. So I did... I don't know if you listened to the latest podcast, but yesterday or the day yesterday or the day before, I completely had my entire thermos of black coffee, thank God, spill into my super expensive coyote brown, uh, coyote ugly, completely customized by scars, super duper, go ruck, GR1 26 liter bag covered in coffee, so I took it into the bath with me today after soaking it in bath water, clean bath water with uh, Dawn soap in it, and then I took a shower with it, and now it's hanging upside down in the shower, and when I get home today after letting it drip out, I will bring it out into an airier place where it can air out, and then I decided to celebrate a new gig with a new client with lots of hours, I decided to celebrate by ordering a 30-pound plate from GORUCK for my bag. So I'm going to upgrade from 20 pounds to 30 pounds, which means 
my daily bag is going to weigh 24 kilograms, 53 pounds, which is the number that I'm excited to be at. Uh, and I feel like I can do it. I feel like I can add another 10 pounds and it'll be okay. Or as uh, yesterday I was out and the guy who runs the, uh, the fountain at the uh, kitty park was there and he rolled up and he had uh, reggae playing and we sang along together in mirth. Everything's going to be all right. 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 Anyway, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.